Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero, the channel that is going to help you become the best version of yourself every single day. My name is Fabio and I'm an expert in risk management and prevention of market manipulation and today we are going to discuss about the risks and potential rewards of staking internet computer ICP. So let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. First of all, I want to remind you about my exit strategy for internet computer ICP and that I hold a short-term speculative bag of internet computer, a medium-term bag of internet computer and a long-term bag of internet computer. Why is that so? Well, as um, we can start with the speculative investment with the short-term bag, this is a 30% of my total allocation in internet computer. These are only numbers uh, that I took as an example. So 30% of my ICP is currently a short-term speculative investment and it's held on exchanges. Why is that so? Because I want to have the flexibility to repay myself for my initial investment as the market cap will grow over time. And as you may see, this is my exit strategy for internet computer ICP. Therefore, I will be um, dynamically DCAing out of the market as the market cap will grow over time. Okay, why is the reason and why I'm doing that? Well, simply to remove emotions from the decision making process. And if the market cap will raise, and I think it will raise over time, especially in the bull market, I will be able, even by selling 50 or 60% of my speculative um, short term uh, bag, I will be able to hold my whole initial investment in internet computer and therefore I will remove all the pressure and I will be able to play only with the profits, which is obviously exceptionally positive from a mindset standpoint. Okay, let's move on to the medium and long term bag of internet computer and why I did decide for the 30, 30, 40 split here. Well, simply because I am long term bullish on internet computer and therefore I want to, as a first thing, cover my initial investment as soon as possible and then be able to earn juicy staking rewards in the process and I want to be able to have a long-term bag that is staked for eight years and obviously also a medium-term bag that is staked between one and four years as well that I will then decide maybe or to sell if the price will be satisfactory for me or maybe just restake for the long term again depending on market conditions okay now that this is out of the window let's discuss about the potential risks of a staking and to hedge against the risk i have also a short term speculative position so the risk obviously is that you're locking your internet computer and that you will not be able to time perfectly the market therefore with this split i have the flexibility to still be able to time the market and to sell some internet computer while i'm also be able to um, getting exposed to the juicy staking rewards and to be able to have my own word in the governance of internet computer which is also extremely important now that we have discussed about the risk and the potential um, risk of not being able to sell your position whenever you want, we can uh, talk about the potential benefits of staking internet computer and why I decided to stake internet computer. Okay, in order to do that, we need to discuss about the tokenomics of internet computer. Uh, in fact, internet computer has a deflationary and inflationary mechanic at the moment internet computer is inflationary so let's discuss about those mechanics in brief in brief icp has two inflationary mechanics and two deflationary mechanics inflation is achieved via one governance rewards 
which grant neuron maturity to investors who vote on network proposals that can be used to mint new ICP and two node rewards, which immediately mint new ICP to pay network infrastructure providers. Meanwhile, deflation is achieved by one, converting ICP into cycles to burn to run software canisters and by two, the act of staking ICP, which can take coins out of circulation for many years. Okay, so as I mentioned, there are inflationary and deflationary mechanics. How high is the inflation currently and can internet computer become deflationary in the future? First of all, as you may see here, the ratio between the new ICP issued and the current supply is dropping. Therefore, the inflation rate has been dropping over the last few months, which is absolutely positive in my opinion. And um, based on a projection of and a simulation of the supply of internet computer and a potential burning dynamic of internet computer, internet computer could become deflationary in five to six years, which would obviously be absolutely amazing. At the moment, however, let's discuss uh, about what is happening right now. The analyzed inflation rate for internet computer is around 4 to 4.5% based on my calculations. Obviously, as I did just display, the inflation rate has been dramatically dropping over the last few months. However, as a general trend, I will take in consideration for my calculations this number of 4 to 4.5%. Okay, so therefore, if I have only a speculative investment in internet computer and I, if I want to time the market, obviously I have to also take in consideration that my investment will get diluted over time. Therefore, I would need to sell fairly quickly in a matter of few months in order to avoid um, inflation of my position. In order to hedge against this risk, I want to also have a medium and long term bag of internet computer, therefore my allocation not only does not get diluted, but I also have the possibility to one, earn staking rewards and two, participate in the governance of the network. Okay, let's talk about staking rewards. So if we want to uh, stake internet computer for six months, we will get eight 0.3%. This is a yearly uh, rate, which is obviously higher than the inflation rate. So not only you will protect yourself against inflation, but you will also be able to earn additional rewards, which is absolutely fantastic. However, let's see what happens if we would decide to stake internet computer for a longer period. So not six months, but one year we would get 8.8% or maybe 1.5 years, 9.3% or two years, 9.8% and so on and so forth. As you may see, the longer we decide to stake our internet computer, the bigger the staking rewards. And this is also a reason why I did decide to lock my long-term investment for seven years. And you may get a very juicing staking reward at the moment more than 15%, which is obviously absolutely amazing. At the moment, the, the rates that you would uh, get in the open market if you would deposit your idle cash would be maybe around uh, 5%. And this is a 3x on what you can get on your idle cash. Obviously, cash, it's stable, let's say, even though uh, we all know if we would take a look at the a chart of the buying power of the US dollar over the last hundred years that this is an illusion that uh, that fiat is just losing value over time and this is why I'm also um, investing most of my capital to be able to not get diluted over time. Okay, uh, what about uh, 
the key concepts of staking. So to become vested and obtain voting power, ICP tokens must be first staked and then locked up for a length of a time greater than six months at most to eight years. So you cannot get voting power if your ICP is not staked and it's not locked for at least six months. Just as tokens are held in a user's account, stake is held in a special account called a Neuron. Each Neuron has its own identifier and several attributes relating to its stake. This include the length of time it is locked for the dissolve delay, whether it is currently dissolving, how much reward it has accrued as a result of voting on proposals, the maturity. Once a neuron is locked for more than six months, it gains the ability to both submit proposals and vote on them. Voting in turn generates voting rewards based on how active a neuron is is in voting on proposals. If you vote on every open proposal, you gain the maximum reward. A neuron can also follow other neurons, which, which causes it to automatically vote the same as the majority of the neurons that it follows. What about the voting power? The voting power of a locked neuron is determined by several factors, principally by its stake. One ICP equals the power of one vote. Next, by its lock-up duration or dissolve delay, six months grants a 1.06x uh, voting power bonus and eight years grants 2x or other duration scale linearly between. Lastly, by its age or length of time spent locked up without dissolving, four years grants a 1.25x bonus multiplicative with any other bonuses, all other durations get um, a linear bonus. So what does this all mean? This simply means that at max, your voting power can get a 2.5x bonus if you're obviously staking internet computer for a long time and if uh, your internet computer has been locked without dissolving for at least four years. Therefore, the two main benefits are that not only you can get very juicy staking rewards, but you can have also your word in the governance of the network so you can be involved in the decision process and you can control in which direction is the blockchain going, which is obviously a very big benefit in my opinion as we all should be involved in the decision making process of the blockchain especially if we do believe long term in um in the project okay uh, now um this is not a staking tutorial however i can just very quickly show how you can stake your icp uh, basically you just visit uh, the internet computer dashboard, you press on neurons, you press on stake ICP, you then will be prompted on the web page of the network nervous system, the NNS, you will sign in with an internet identity and you will create an internet identity. After that, you simply follow the steps described in this article and you will be able to add your ICP tokens to your NNS account and you will be able to start staking ICP in a Neron to earn rewards. It is very simple and pretty straightforward. If you need an in-depth tutorial, just let me know in the comment section and I can create and record a video about uh, particularly like a tutorial video for a staking internet computer. Overall, um, now uh, that we have discussed about uh, the staking of internet computer, why is that so important? As we have seen in the past uh, years, the number of um, stakers is constantly increasing, especially the number of long term stakers of internet computer at the moment more than 130 million internet computer is staked for 
eight years. What does this mean? This simply means that there is a ton of long-term investors that are currently staking internet computer and that do believe long-term in this project, which is absolutely fantastic in my opinion. Before ending this video, what I want to mention is that staking has its own risks and potential rewards. And this is why I have a 30-30-40 split of my bag to be able to have the maximum amount of flexibility and to be able to protect myself against inflation, to be able to earn juicy staking rewards and to be able to be part of the governance of this blockchain as this is a project that is in my long term list and I believe long term in the success of this project. If you guys like this video, please give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.